everyone welcome back to my channel i am vlogging in this video a couple weeks ago i was sick and i don't know what i had made sure to get a covid test it came back negative but you know sometimes there's false negatives so i have no idea i could have had covid but it also didn't feel like that i came out of that and really just wanted to be productive focus on self-care and you're gonna see me planning out my goals for 2022 which i talk about towards the end of this video that's what's going on in this vlog i would really appreciate it if you guys would like this video and also subscribe it really helps my channel out so without further ado let's get into this vlog hello <laughs> i don't know what's happening hi welcome oh no 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 so i absolutely look like a disaster and i'm going to explain why <laughs> right now i was sick last week my 24th birthday was last week i was sick on my birthday i was sick on the night i was supposed to celebrate my birthday with my friends my girlfriend came here to florida for four days and thank god she was here with me because i would have probably sobbed all day from being sad that i wasn't doing anything for my birthday and also just miserable from being sick so Gotta love that girl. You know, I just, I still am feeling a little bit stuffed up, but as far as my energy, it's pretty much all the way back. However, I just feel like a slob and I have for a week now. I just, I don't know. I feel like I haven't really done a lot of self care and that's what we're gonna do in this video i haven't worked out in a week but maybe we need to do like a little bit of a face mask i definitely need to take a shower tonight this is just going to be a satisfying vlog because it's going to be my little glow up my journey to feeling confident again for myself not for anyone else but just feeling healthy mentally good and happy and like i kind of have it together a little bit because i think that's important when it comes to confidence you want to feel like you're getting stuff done it's especially good that i have my energy back because i feel like i can actually do things now which is amazing because for a week i just i couldn't yeah we are going to do some stuff this week that requires a little bit of self-care getting our lives together let's get to it Face. I use the honey mask from I'm From again. I really like this mask because it hydrates my skin and makes everything just feel silky smooth. Like I have a baby face. My skin has not been doing its best lately, honestly, since the summertime. As you guys know, I've talked about it in other videos. But right now it's actually okay it's doing pretty good i don't really have a lot of active breakouts maybe just one which is amazing but i am kind of dealing with like redness and irritation and dryness and acne scarring because your girl has been picking at her face for the past honestly months now i i never used to be a picker in the past but since the summertime, since my skin got kind of bad, which again, it's doing really well right now, but it 
wasn't doing its best a few months ago, let me tell you. This was the first time I experienced like a lot of pimples on my face and I just didn't like what I saw. So for some reason, the OCD-ness anxiety in my brain decided to make things worse. Yeah, I just really loved tearing up my face, but you know, I'm a human being, it is what it is, and all we can do is just try and get better about it, and that's what I'm going to do. I feel like I've come a long way, though, as far as my self-love journey with my skin. When my skin issues first came up, I really didn't know how to deal with it. I felt a lot of like shame and just insecurity, obviously. If you've struggled with acne, you can understand that. I've really been working on these past few months just trying to be compassionate and caring and kind to myself and just kind of accepting myself even if my skin isn't doing its best because I know that I'm so much more than the pimples on my face and it's honestly, I just remind myself, it's part of life. I really think the things that have been helping is, well, firstly, this is the biggest thing. I've been trying to take care of my body from the inside out. So really just fueling my body with nutritious, good food. I also feel like working out has really helped my skin. But also the products that I've been using on my face have been amazing. I think just because they're good, high quality products, you know, I know I can trust these products and yeah, I am going to leave this on for like another 10 minutes and I am then going to do some work on my computer. It's like 1.30 in the morning and I just finished my work for the night. I didn't even get around to editing my video because everything else just took a lot more time than I thought. But I uploaded an Instagram. I'm gonna wake up at like six in the morning. So that's in like a couple hours. I have just so much that I need to do or that I want to do. And um, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta grind, right? But now it is time to go to sleep. house but I wanted to show you guys these leggings and the sports bra this little set from Amazon actually and this is my first time like purchasing any workout uh, gear from Amazon because I've always just really enjoyed Fathletics it's my favorite place to honestly get workout stuff and that's still true however I am really vibing with this set. It makes me feel really confident, really cute, and it was super cheap. I'm pretty sure it's like $30 for the entire set, which is, if you are into working out, you know that is, it's great. currently getting ready for a party at our house tonight and it's just it's crazy in there so i thought i'd come in my car and show you guys my new journals that i got from target 
yesterday and I'm really excited. I have already started bullet journaling for 2022. I love planning things out. I love goal setting. I love all of that. So I just thought real quickly, I would show you guys how I am setting my bullet journal up real quickly. This is just a planner that I got for specifically scripting. So I have my regular notebook that still has a few, you know, it still kind of actually has a lot of pages left. Um, and this is just going to be for specifically my journal routine and writing down my thoughts and all that. But I really wanted a separate scripting manifesting journal so I could really keep track of what I'm trying to manifest into my life. It's going to be really nice to have something that's organized and something that I can look back on and hopefully, you know, I manifest a lot this next year. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do a separate video all about manifesting and stuff because I've gotten really into it. But for now, I wanted to show you guys my bullet journal. I really made it a thing to not overthink it. And each page is so not perfect. And that's what I like about it. And it, this has actually really been helping with my perfectionism because it's like, it is what it is and it's good enough and it's still gonna help me. And uh, that's all that matters. So yeah, some pages might be a little wonky. I also definitely didn't like take the time to perfectly like make straight lines. Um, this did come with like a ruler and like a cute little tencel. My, it's so cute. My nephew is actually using that right now. So I can't show you it, but yeah, this is just from Target. I have the first three pages are just my index. And then I have a 2022 inspiration, just like page with a quote that says, I see a certain life for myself and I won't stop until I get it. And then I did my 2022 goals. So for the goals, I have four sections. So I have health and wellness. I have career, personal and relationship. So I guess I'll say a few, few goals, just a few. So for health and wellness, have a consistent workout routine, run more, meditate more. Um, for career, I have, actually no, I don't wanna say that, my career stuff. I don't know why I'm weird about that. Personal, I have read one book a month and save money, move into apartment, which is like one of the biggest goals that I'm gonna have for 2022. And then I have relationship because I feel like relationship goals are super important as well. For example, I put one date night a month. I feel like that's really important for connection and all that. And then I have my January 2022 planner. See, as you can tell, it is totally not perfect, but that's okay. I have my January goals here. And then this is what I'm really excited about. I have my habit tracker. So for habits. I want to move my body every single day. That doesn't necessarily have to mean like a full-on workout. It could just mean like a walk. Even stretching, I still count that. Read one chapter, meditate, study for 30 minutes, work out, walk outside, and journal. And then I wrote a little quote right here. Also, I just want to mention most of these like layouts I got from Pinterest. So if you're struggling to figure out what you want to put in your bullet journal, highly recommend just going on Pinterest. I cannot take credit for this. Um, but yeah, so I have a mood tracker and I just thought it's cute. It's a bunch of little Polaroids that some of them definitely do not look like Polaroids, but it's fine. I think this is just important to keep track of. So I know like throughout the month, if I was mostly happy or if I was mostly just feeling all right, if I was sad or if I was just playing out horrible. And I think that's important for um, tracking your mental health. And then I have my work schedule. I wrote this out because I really just needed a set plan of when I was doing filming YouTube videos and editing. And then I have my January content schedule and that's pretty much all I've gotten to so far. I am going to make my content schedule on these two pages. I'm just gonna make like one big uh, calendar that's the plan currently for 2022. I'm very excited to continue this bullet journal. I think it's also a great way to like express your creativity and stuff, which is something I really want to focus on in 2022. But yeah, so 
that's that i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it's kind of all over the place but honestly this week has been a really really good week for me mentally and self-care wise i had fun documenting it and let me know what other types of videos you guys want to see and i will talk to you guys in my next video Bye.